untreated heartburn or acid reflux can lead to cancer, which is pretty crazy. If you want a way to force your body to permanently stop acid reflux and heartburn in 48 hours, click the link in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, can Garrett be serious even if it never includes symptoms of nausea, vomiting, or difficulty swallowing? Answer by Stephen Hutchison. Question is can Garrett be serious even if it never includes symptoms of nausea, vomiting, or difficulty swallowing? Garrett means gastroesophageal reflux disease. The esophagus is the pipe that leads from your throat to your stomach. At the bottom, stomach end, of the pipe, there is a ring of muscle that usually operates to close the esophagus. This is because the stomach is filled with digestive fluid and food, and the digestive fluid contains non-trivial amounts of hydrochloric acid, which is very corrosive to flesh, and is used to partially dissolve meat and other foods we eat. Gerd happens when the stuff in the stomach, partly digested or not, gets pushed up into the esophagus. Since there is usually still hydrochloric acid in there, it tends to get all over the esophagus, which is not protected by the kind of special cells in the stomach that create a protective barrier against the acid. This means you can end up with chemical burning in the esophagus. If you are especially unlucky, you can get the chemical stuff into your throat and down your windpipe, or the fumes from the acid can weaken your teeth. But the most common thing is, you get heartburn also called esophagus pain and if you're really unlucky, you also get blistering and scarring and infection in the esophagus. The sphincter that closes the esophagus off from the stomach can end up having trouble closing because of scar tissue. The damaged cells can sometimes become cancerous or you can end up with holes in the esophagus. Now, about symptoms, you can have Gert without any symptoms whatsoever. Perhaps the damage happened and you learned to ignore it. Perhaps it happened in such a way that the pain sensors never really got involved. Vomiting might not happen because it doesn't go up very far. Difficulty swallowing might not happen even with things damaged further down. So yes, Gert can be quite serious without any symptoms. Answer by Sammy Mayhry. As a 21-year-old man diagnosed with Gert and hiatal hernia when I was 16 years old, I can't tell you up front that Gert never goes unnoticed. You just can't have Gert and not know it. Gert includes nausea, vomiting in some cases and difficulty swallowing due to the fact that the acid that's usually found in your stomach goes all the way up to your throat. Repeated episodes of Garrett will eventually irritate your throat causing of and more issues and adding more symptoms like hoarseness, a bitter and sour taste that's especially noticeable in the morning as well as breathing issues due to unintentionally inhaling that acid, which usually happens at night when you're sleeping. Now when that acid comes into contact with your lungs, it will trigger an inflammatory response. You'll experience coughing with increased mucus production and if you have asthma it might get even worse. Gert can also cause weight loss due to reduced appetite and bloated stomach. Basically, your entire upper half is affected by this acid, and don't get me started on how it also affects your teeth in the long run, slowly dissolving them because your mouth's pH will start to feel almost the same as your stomach's. Bottom line, Gert is serious albeit usually not life-threatening. It requires adequate treatment to keep it all under control because one of its major complications is the narrowing of the esophagus in the later stages and in Barrett's esophagus which is like the worst esophageal disease that might turn into esophageal cancer if it's also left untreated. Answer by Rick von der Brink. Yes. The biggest danger of Garrett is that long exposure to the stomach acid can cause the tissue at the end of the esophagus to nudge or a change we call Barrett's esophagus. This condition can ultimately progress to cancer of the esophagus. It has no symptoms beyond those of the GERD itself. Patients with chronic GERD should consider getting an endoscopy done from time to time to evaluate for this.